The quest for justice. It's day four in the murder trial of Claudia Herrick. Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley was inside the courtroom listening to all the testimony, including the account from the FBI agent who traveled to Brazil to take Herrick into custody. It's kept very quiet, and in this case, even more so. It was, uh, it was kept very, very close to the vest. A trip kept under wraps for the now retired FBI special agent Anthony Sano and other authorities who traveled in 2018 to Brazil with a mission to take custody of Claudia Herrig. That exchange made a year ago on this very day, the same day she was put on a nine hour chartered flight back to Ohio. And today, witnesses took the stand to testify about what happened on that trip. Sano says scattered throughout other conversations during the journey back, Herrig kept saying, she had a story to tell, but about six hours in. She made the comment, Tony, let me tell you, a wife doesn't kill her husband without having a good reason. And then she went on to tell, without us prompting her, tell a story. A story she relayed to Detective Sergeant Mike Yanucci in a recorded interview once she was brought into the sheriff's office that night. It's in that recording, Claudia says Carl got upset because she told him she was pregnant. She goes on to tell investigators she told him she was going to kill herself, and he told her to do it in the basement so she wouldn't get blood on his paintings. Well, what happened next? Because I got very angry and I got up and really first and shocked. Shot what? Meanwhile, outside the courthouse. We're here in support of our fallen comrade. Several veterans with the American Legion were holding signs supporting Carl, who they say is having his final battle inside the courtroom. And now he has no voice, and we want to make sure that he's voiced. We want to make sure justice is served and that, uh, that justice is done. In Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.